people and good morning it is sunday the new vlog just went live um i'm getting ready i do have on clothes i'm getting ready to go make a healthy pizza for lunch and then i have a whole to-do list of things that i have to get done today so it'll be a productive slash relaxing day i want to take a bath do a pedicure, just relax and unwind. I want to start my week off in a peaceful, relaxed state because after the week I had last week, it's just needed. Um, also, somebody told me that this watch is no longer available with the eBay seller that I posted in like three or four videos, so I'm sorry about that. I will try to find another one similar and link it down below because I know you guys were asking me about it. But maybe if you do have that old link, um, maybe it'll come back in stock eventually. I'm not sure. But yeah, let me get my day started. Let me check my temperature. I'm feeling a little warm. My friend tells me all the time that I'm just driving myself crazy. But um, I have been running like a one degree higher temperature. But my temperature is usually around 96. So it's nothing to be alarmed about i just like to stay on top of it so let me start my day i'll show you my lunch i'm having my healthy pizza and yeah see y'all in a few so i decided to do a balloon release from the floral arrangement that my friend sent me this is for the next best year ever Woo! See how high it goes. There she goes. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, she's high. Oh my God. I'm catching up on YouTube. I'm watching my girl's style of sense. I will link her channel down below. Is this gray hair sticking up? Awesome. <laughs> At lunch, I was responding to comments and emails. I do want to get myself a pedicure. I think I'm going to do that in a moment. I just want to catch up a little bit on YouTube. <sighs> I don't know what's going on with my hair. Um, just because I feel like this week I took a little break and since then I just, I'm so behind on everything. So going to catch up on YouTube, give myself a pedicure, maybe file down my nails, stay, stay. So at the like one week mark of me having my nails done, sometimes they just start feeling a little too long so just want to file them a little bit but yeah let me finish watching my girl catch up on youtube and then do this pedicure because these feet have been barking since i did that foot peel they've been like peeling and they're just they need to be cute and white again, white as in the polish. So let me get to that. <laughs> My videos for the first time. This is like the cutest intro ever. I am. I keep getting sucked into watching YouTube, you guys. Right now I'm watching being Mika J. Um, I've been following her on Instagram for a while and I guess I never knew she had a channel. Stupid me. Um, so I'm just checking out her latest vlog and of course the first thing she's talking about is the Nespresso. I cannot wait for mine to arrive. So I'm going to watch this one last vlog and then I'm going to get to my pedicure because it's 420. <laughs> um, I did not realize it was so late in the day and yeah, let me get to this vlog. So... <laughs> I 
I'm doing a pedicure today just because I've needed one and tomorrow is a very special day. I'm going to dinner with my big sister. You guys will see her. I love her so much. I have not seen her since, I don't know. It's been a long time though. Maybe like November or October. I'm not sure, but it's been a while. So we are going to go out to dinner. No worries. I know that she's been home during quarantine, okay? <laughs> she's probably the last person that I will be going out to eat with during this quarantine pandemic, what have you, until the cases at least start stabilizing and not rising. But like I said, I know that she's been being safe, so I feel comfortable. Since I have to actually get dressed up tomorrow, I figured let me do this pedicure because this toenail polish is like, I have one, two, three, four toes with polish on them. It is so bad. It's almost been a month. Oh my gosh. June just flew by and June was just a lot. So getting in my self care for this Sunday, Chloe. Oh. She's never far. <laughs> I love this little dog. Little munchkin. today yeah you were a good girl I'm proud of you you might get a second T-R-E-A-T T-R-E-A-T it's okay hey guys I just got off the longest business meeting call it was basically a soliloquy so that was interesting but Getting ready to eat dinner. We are having meatloaf, um, like fried medallion potatoes and green beans. I am so hungry. I was in that meeting like, oh my gosh, please hurry up so I can eat. So I'm going to go eat and I will probably end today's vlog here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday. Uh, yeah. It's a monday e Monday for sure. Um, yeah, it's just a real monday e Monday. I just... Everybody I've talked to today, everybody feels the same. We all just feel very blah. Let me make sure. I am a stickler for a clean, wiped down counter. And our counters, um, it's granite, but it's like unfinished. So it's like a special type of granite that's not smooth. So if you don't wipe them down constantly, you won't know that they have like crumbs and stuff on them. So, yeah. So I am taking a what do you call it? A mental health day. That probably means that I will do some work because anytime I get an email that is work related, I have to answer it if I can right then and there. But I'm going to watch Insecure today. I have not seen the fourth season. I was kind of like over Insecure because they took two years to come back. But um, now that it's over, I can binge watch it. So I'm probably gonna watch that today. Using my donut shop chocolate glazed donut coffee. This has been my favorite for the past month. I have my coffee made sugar free French vanilla, and I'm using a beverage, a libation stirrer instead of a straw. I just feel like a straw is very wasteful. So 
I thought about getting some coffee stirs, but I'm like, ugh, you have two of these. Use what you have. Instead of going on Amazon every day. I posted something on Instagram last week about health anxiety during this pandemic, and that is real. Um, yeah, every day, a couple times a day, I must take my temperature to ensure that I'm still healthy um, because I've been running like a one degree, one degree higher than normal temperature recently, but my regular temperature is like 96 point something. So I think I'm okay. Let me get my ladder me. So I've been using this for about a week now and I don't really see a difference. So I was using this one last month, the Gut Instinct. And from reading online, they seem like they're pretty similar from what I read online. They're basically probiotics. So yeah, I don't know what that's about, but I'm still gonna continue to take it because I think Flatter Me is one of their best-selling supplements and a lot of you guys asked for a review as well. Chloe, stop being weird. She likes to chase the reflection of any glass or anything that's like that the sun is reflecting off of. Um, my head feels so large now that I have a fresh relaxer because I'm just all scalp and cheek. <laughs> I definitely can't wait until this grows out a bit because it's so flat. Oh, God. And this is how big the supplement is. I see you. I am going to dinner tonight with my big sister, Severe. Um, I'm pretty sure she's been on the channel before. I know definitely last Vlogmas and yeah. I adore her so much and she just wanted to take me out for my birthday, which was so sweet of her. And it's actually gonna be nice to like get out of the house and do something fun. I have not done anything fun since quarantine started. Uh, you guys know my friends came over for my birthday for like an hour or so. That was nice, but I haven't like physically been out so I'm really excited. Um, yeah, we're going to go to a restaurant at the Shops of Buckhead. Let me see what it's called. I can never um, pronounce it. Let's see. <laughs> it's called Le Bill Bouquet. Le Bill Bouquet. I don't know. It's a French restaurant. Uh, and they do have outdoor seating, so that's great. I need to look at the menu so I know what I'm getting because I am that girl that knows what she's getting before she gets to the restaurant. Especially now because, like, you don't want to have to touch anything. So, ooh, they have a charcuterie board. A charcuterie board. Is, how do you say charcuterie? Is it charcuterie or charcuterie? Really? Mm. Shark Charcuterie. Shark Charcuterie. Yeah. So I think I'm getting. Ooh, they have steak frites. Ooh. I think I'm gonna get this Le Poulet Cajon. Cajon. Signature Cajun chicken. Something blanc and French fries. I think I'm getting that. That looks tasty. I also need to figure out how, where I'm gonna park because they have, uh, what do you call it? Valet parking, but she's not doing valet parking. Um, mm -mm. I don't want anyone in my car. <laughs> so let me call them and see where there's parking. But yeah, I'm really excited to go. I'm excited to get dressed up. I picked out my outfit last night. I washed all my makeup brushes. Like I, it's just gonna feel nice to get away and like unwind and do something fun with a friend and just like have a good time. 
I miss that so much. I've come to the realization that <laughs> this quarantine is gonna last all year for me. I mean, I knew that in February, but <sighs> as things get more real out here in these streets that I'm not in, um, I'm just realizing that I have to do what I have to do to stay healthy, safe, and happy. And if that means eating carbs, that's what it means. If that means taking two days off to just exist and relax, that's what I have to do. So I'm trying not to focus on, you know, being so carb conscious. I mean, of course I am. Like the meal that I picked out today when we go out to eat, I'm gonna have carbs, <laughs> but you know, I'm just giving myself some grace. Um, this year has been so challenging and so tough for so many of us. And so I'm really just focusing on doing whatever I can do. If I don't lose not a single pound this year, because I've been losing and then gaining and then losing and gaining. So I've pretty much been at a standstill since March, but I'm just happy I haven't gained 30 pounds. You know, I'm not being too hard on myself, but I have been eating more to keep my metabolism going. Yeah, it's just such a tough year. I don't know, like next year, mm, I just can't wait to, you know, not have to deal with all the things we're dealing with, not have to, not, I'm not living in fear of COVID, but like it has to stay somewhat in my mind for me to continue to take precautions and be as safe as I can. And so I definitely miss simpler times when I could just go out with friends and travel, go on vacation with loved ones and not worry about anything. So yeah, moral of the story, I'm doing what I can. I suggest you guys do as well. Hello. It is time to get ready. Get ready. Oh, I haven't worn makeup to go out in so long. Where's my eyebrow brush? Okay, so I've gone to eat during quarantine to sit outside, but it's been like business meeting and for Cinco de Mayo. So I'll let you guys just watch me because this is going to be rather boring and I want to listen to Destiny's Child. Say my name, say my name. We'll listen to Survivor. I put on the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I love it. Like it looks natural. It's a little lighter than what I currently, well, what I was using and I'll show you the difference. My favorite Holy Grail was my Guerlain Terracotta. So it's a little more neutral and a little lighter, but it works. So I'm excited about that. Now I just need to go find a lipstick. Mm, yeah, heading down, see it in a little bit. Okay, so for fragrance tonight, since this is a birthday celebration, I decided to wear my birthday fragrance that I wear every year. This is Bond Number no. 9, Aster Place. It is beautiful. I'll link it below. Okay, this is my outfit. Body suit is from... Nordstrom skirt is from Shein. Oh, 
wearing my Chanel walk and my Tory Burch Millers. I wanted to have something flat and comfy since she hasn't been in heels in a while. <laughs> See y'all there. So I'm here, well, in the parking deck. I'm like so excited to be out. I feel like such a loser. <laughs> and this is my first time at this restaurant. I've always wanted to go because it always has looked so cute. But I never had a reason to go. So I'm really excited. Kind of nervous to be like out in such a large environment with a bunch of people. But when I drove past the restaurant, uh, it didn't look packed. So that's good. Now I just need to see where people are going. Do y'all not know how to park? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> severe don't we look like we could be sisters we are we I'm are telling you in the last <laughs> one we are secret sisters <laughs> so how do you say this restaurant don't ask me <laughs> the parking attendant had to add it Le Bilbo yeah, Bill Bill okay okay yeah. well that, that's it's what French, it is clearly. it's French yeah so we are having French martinis and some crab avocado something. salad yes it's beautiful yeah. and this is the shop at Bughead. Everything is closed, but it's pretty. Let me get dessert. I'm gonna go home and be like 12 pounds heavier. But look how good it looks. And she got creme brulee. Oh, that looks so good, man. Well, you know, it's our last hoorah of the summer. We deserve. So we go back in quarantine. I know. And look, we're being safe. I have a whole care package for us. We're behind the velvet rope. Right. <laughs> VIP quarantine kit. Yeah. I made it through dinner. Look how beautiful it is out here. <sighs> But your girl is stuffed. Okay, is this elevator to parking garage? Okay. Oh, it was so hot outside. I was in an elevator with somebody. But I think I survived my first and last coronavirus. That was the best, you guys. Like, I had the, I had the time with my big sis. I'm so glad that it actually came. Not that I was not gonna come, but you know, I haven't really been out since February. Okay, let's try to get out of here. And this is actually my first time in the shops of Buckhead. Um, I've been to American Cut, I believe it's called. But that was for like a party on New Year's Eve. That didn't count. This is what always happens. I sit down at this computer, then I get started working. 
Uh, I was responding to emails. I had like a hundred emails to respond to. Um, yeah, I guess yesterday just because I spent some time away. And when I got home, I was so sleepy. But um, I just got an email from Nordstrom that their anniversary sale is starting soon. So, yeah, I'm about to put some things in my cart. I would like to get some workout clothes, specifically just some pants. I really don't need, like, T-shirts. Well, these purple crops are cute. The Nordstrom sale is a great time to get like brands that Nordstrom sell, sells that usually go on sale, like their expensive jeans, they have beauty deals, um, the Barefoot Dreams robe. Maybe I'll do a whole video of my Nordstrom sale picks. Let me know if you guys would like me to do that because I can. But yeah, I'm probably just going to get like workout stuff, maybe a pair of pajamas. I mean, let's face it, where am I going this year? Nowhere. <laughs> so you guys know I worked with Yvette Sportswear and I really like their bras, but in terms of their, um, their workout pants, the ones that they sent me, now I can't speak for the other ones. But the light support pants, which are actually right here, because I wear them around the house. <laughs> they sent me the light support workout pants. Honey, this body needs high support. One, so that I can be sucked in. But also, um, higher support pants, they just stay up. Especially on my body type. So, yeah. Watching my girl make lemon bars. I love that she's doing this also because now I don't no, have to ever no, refer to the recipe. I can just watch her video. You can add your two cups of flour all together, but I think I'm a kind of a pro at baking, so I just try to mix a little at you a are time. A pro. <laughs> but the lady Honestly, that I watched who made this recipe, she just poured everything together and just blended it. She's such a good cook. And I'm so proud of my friend. Like, she started her channel a little while ago. And when I tell you she's been teaching me things, like, that's how dedicated she is. She does videos on her home building process so here because she is building a home. If you look at my batter, you can see that. Turn it down a little bit. Right. But, yeah, she so like does said, cooking videos. She's I done DIY. She's uh, documented her home building process because she is building a home and I'm just so proud of her. Gonna have to make lemon bars again. Yum. So I just randomly happened to check my email. Not random. It's not like I don't ever check my email. But anyway, I checked my email and I randomly had a Staples email with a $10 gift reward. Uh, allegedly, they sent a coupon and it didn't work. So what I did was log online and look and see what they had in stock as far as hand sanitizer and disinfectant spray. So I got two 17 ounce bottles of disinfectant spray with the coupon. I only paid like 120 something or something. And then I got two bottles of disinfectant foam, a brand I never heard of, but it's okay. And I got that for like $2. So for $3, I got four disinfectant products. You're only supposed to use one per account. So I checked out as a guest because I don't think I have an online account. And if you have different email addresses or if you have people in your home or people who are with you who have different email addresses, definitely take advantage if you are still in need of these type of products. By the time you guys see this, it might be over, but I'm just letting you know. Check your email for Staples discounts and coupons and also for Staples website. Uh, I've been able to find a lot of hand sanitizer from Staples online. So just FYI, because I fear we're gonna be back in lockdown pretty soon and resources will be more scarce than ever. So just a little tip. And of course, if you are already following me on Instagram, I posted this, just another reason why you should be following me on Instagram because I always post these type of deals. About Amtrak. Oh, okay. We all broke up. 
I've been catching up on Insecure. I think I told you guys a few days ago that I stopped watching and then I started re-watching it. And so today I am making my relaxing day because tomorrow I'm going full throttle. So I am catching up on Insecure. Oh my gosh. Please do not piss on my car. This is how old people really are. That's how, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it is almost dinner time for the crew. Um, I doubt I'm going to eat. I had a large lunch and yeah, I'm just sleepy. But came in here to take down my hair. I didn't take a nap today, but I did get some rest in. Oh, my hair smells like Bond Aster Place from yesterday. It smells so good. I know one thing, though. Like, when I have a fresh relaxer, my head looks so big because it's just, like, all scalp and straight hair. So, I cannot wait to go swimming. I have not used the pool all year. It's definitely time. So, yeah, just going to comb my hair out and go downstairs and spend time with the fam. So, I'll probably end this portion of the vlog here. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you had a great day. My stomach's itching. <laughs> hope you guys had a great day. And, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Well, good afternoon, beautiful people. Today is Wednesday. I just came from lunch. And when I say came from lunch, I mean I ate my lunch in my car. <laughs> I had Chipotle for lunch. Um, just out going to meetings, appointments, having a busy day. And then when I get home, I have to ship a few orders and film. So, it's going to be the longest day ever. Yeah. I don't know how much I'll vlog, but I decided I should give you guys something since when I get home, I have a lot to do. But I'm happy to see that while I'm out, people are wearing masks. I love seeing it. Let me put you guys down. Yeah, I love seeing it. My lips feel like an alligator. My whole body is just dry. And today I used the the Ordinary's Niacinamide Serum. I think that's what it's called. It's for, um, that's what, well, you can't see it. It's Jack Black Lip Balm. I'll link it down below. But I used the Ordinary's Niacinamide because that is supposed to be good for breakouts. You guys know I've been having some mask knee so yeah and so i used that today and my skin is like soup not dry but it's not oily and i put it on at maybe eight some nine something and it is one something and it is not my skin is not oily so that's amazing so i'm gonna link the niacinamide i am loving all of the new skincare that i have tried so far this month i'm also loving the new charlotte tilbury makeup like this was the best haul ever and you know what I think it is now that I'm not buying skincare and makeup every month I really get to pinpoint what it is that I really want so that means I get to do all my research before I actually buy my products and yeah everything has worked out so well so I'm really excited about that Yes, I have on my prior shirt again. This shirt is so soft and comfy. Like, sorry. I'm looking at this guy's mask. He has a bandana tucked into his glasses. I hope he can see. <laughs> anyway. What was I saying? Oh, I love this shirt because of the material. I'll look at the tag and insert it um, across the screen from what brand it's from i know i got it from nordstrom and i tried to link it but it's sold out but the cotton is so stretchy and it's actually a men's t-shirt but it fits so well like i can't stop wearing it because it just feels so nice but yeah let me finish moisturizing this is the kiehl's creme decor and 
my hands are so dry from all this sanitizer because when I go out, I got my Chipotle. Like now when you get Chipotle, if you order online, they just have it on a shelf, but like you have to touch the door, you have to touch the bag. So before I get all the way in my car, I use my hand sanitizer. And then once I open the bag, I use it again. Like your girl is not playing. Like I'm trying to be as safe as I can. You guys know I did go out to eat. Um, when was that? Yesterday, the day before, the day before, Monday. And not that I'm worried, I just know that, well, one, I'm not doing it again because cases just keep rising here. But two, like, I feel like if people are going to go out, have it be like once a week to lower the risk of you contracting something or being an asymptomatic carrier and exposing someone else to it. So I'm trying not to go out. But while I was out running errands and in meetings and appointments, um, I had to eat. So I just decided to go to Chipotle. Oh, I also picked up something from Target. Oh, now I'm going to have to sanitize again. Oh, well. So I picked up a goodie from Target. Shout out to my girl, Sabrina. So I think I told you guys, well, if I didn't, I'm telling you now. I bought a Nespresso a few weeks ago. And I debated for like two weeks if I should get one. And then, well, maybe not two weeks, maybe a week. And then I debated whether or not I needed the Aragino. And I decided against it because... I have so many small appliances in my kitchen. I just, I don't like having a crowded counter and they're already crowded just because there's so many people. Um, so because of that, I didn't want to get the Arachino because it's just one more thing to sit on a counter. So my girl Sabrina told me that she uses this milk frother and it's amazing. So this is the Bodum milk frother. This is what it looks like. I picked it up from Target. I will link it down below. It was like $7.99. And here's what it actually looks like. So pretty much I wanted this one because I could keep it in my drawer. It doesn't have to sit out on the counter. I guess I could start frothing my creamer now. I don't know if you can hear that noise, but um, somebody's having their lawn maintained. I got back home and I had to go run more errands. So I'm just getting to put my makeup on and film these videos. You would have already seen the video that's gonna go live tomorrow. I'm usually never filming like the day before a video goes live. I like to pre-film everything at least a week out, but I don't know what's been going on. <laughs> Busy, that's it. But my skin is glowing. I don't know how because this mask knee, like right, all right here, all right here. <sighs> I don't know. Like when I say that this year has been different because she's like... She's a mom now, and uh, I didn't sign up to be a mom in 2020. <laughs> if I had known I'd be a mother, I would have had way more fun in December and January and the beginning of February <laughs> if I had known I'd be at home being a mom. Mm -mm. Not to say that she's not built for it, but uh, I need a little more time. <laughs> I need at least three years. I mean, God knows what's best, but I always tell all of my friends who are mothers, I'm like, you guys are amazing. I don't know how you do it. I tell my mom that all the time. I don't know how you did what you did when we were kids for us and for yourself and for the family and still stayed sane. Like, and I think that's one of the things about like having children, not to say that I'm like late in life because I'm in my 30s. I'm not old. I'm not beyond the point of like when they start telling you fertility drops. But when you wait later to have kids, you get to experience so much of your life, at least for me. 
and you get so used to it. So like, I'm so used to it being all about me in as much of a way as that could not sound self-centered, meaning my life is literally about me. You know, I don't really have to care for other people. So, you know, it just kind of becomes a routine. So I just can't fathom before this year what it was like to be a mom. I just like, ugh. and then the moms that I do know, like they don't have time to watch hours of YouTube every day and go to the spa and they don't travel how I would want to travel. Oh, it just seems like being a mother is such an adjustment. That's why, like, I always just share with my mom how much I appreciate her. Even when I'm, now that I'm grown, like, little things like making me a cake because she knows that I've been working so hard. Like, that means a lot. So, more of the story. Appreciate your mother, your father, whoever raised you, your caregivers, like, it takes a lot to rear up a child in the way that they should go, especially and do a great job at it. It takes a lot of selflessness. Um, not to say that I'm not ready for that. It's just, it's a big change to go from single and like not married to, oh, surprise. <laughs> so it's been an interesting um been an interesting year but you know we're making it work that's what we do god deals us our cards and we make the best of it so hey guys just finished uh filming excuse my laundry room okay i told you guys that i've been a mother all year and i have a lot on my plate <laughs> so i just want to do a quick load laundry and I also need to fold some clothes tonight clearly what did I just step on a button oh it's in my strength um so yeah I just want to do a load of laundry trying to multitask so I can get everything done on my to-do list today it has been a long day for sure I just feel so amazing in my caftan, you guys. I'm telling you, get a caftan this summer. It is going to just save your little life. Okay, what did I just put in there? Bedding. So I'm just supervising Miss Grace while she uses the bathroom. She wanted to use her potty pad, so I'm letting her. And she has to be supervised because you guys know one of her nicknames is Pissy Paws. I might want to sit outside and have some rum and smoke my cigar today. This is the cigar that I got for my birthday. My favorite cigar, shout out to my girl Severe. This is the Acid Cuba Cuba. It is the best like flavor infused cigar. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to do tonight besides eat and edit. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I sit down and get focused, I need to take my temperature. I've not taken it since I got home. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, 97.2. Okay, I'm not dying today. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Thursday. This will be the last day of this vlog. I woke up today feeling extremely drained and just like over it. Uh, yeah, I've just been so tired all week, but I will be okay. So I decided to take today off. I feel like I did this another day this week, but you know, it's his life and sometimes it's what you have to do. So I'm about to start my day full of relaxation. I'm going to finish watching um, Insecure. 
gonna go outside and smoke my birthday cigar i'm making some lunch right now just some um like bourbon chicken pieces um i'm gonna do a mask i was supposed to film today but i don't know i'll do that tomorrow um yeah watch tv catch up on everything and just spend time with my baby it is self-care thursday sometimes you just need a day to like exist so that's what i'm doing so i really haven't done anything all day i killed a bug <laughs> i killed a bug a new video went live I'm about to place an order on Shein. My girl Pockets and Bows did a Shein haul today. And I've been wanting to get um, some like loungy pieces from Shein. Then I went on the site and found all these dresses that I want. I mean, like, where am I going? Nowhere. But um, I kind of just felt like doing a clothing haul for you guys. So that'll be fun. But yeah, I just want to relax today and exist. So that's what I'm going to do. I do want to work out though, because I haven't worked out in like a week and a half. Um, Not like a real workout like I should be doing. Uh, but I think the Hum Nutrition Flatter Me is like helping me stay on track. I just thought... The other day or maybe last night or this morning that I haven't really felt any effects from the flatter me but then I'm like no wait you haven't worked out for real for real in like a week and a half and you haven't gained any weight I think it's the flatter me because honestly like I feel a little chubbier <laughs> why am I doing this on the internet I feel a little chubbier in my face um, my jeans definitely aren't as loose as they were in February why am I comparing life to February when life was grand? I'm not sure. But, um, and I've also had some soda yesterday. Like, your girl's been just enjoying herself, clearly. Uh, but I haven't gained any weight. So I think Flatter Me is, like, helping my body break things down in a better way to just work with me. So I can't wait to do that review. And I'm also, exciting, I'm also excited to see what's going to happen when I am working out eating 100% on track. I am having a keto lunch and also taking the supplement. So that will be uh, exciting to see. Okay, you guys know how it is. I do my jump roping and whatever I have on. <laughs> Sometimes I actually put on like real workout clothes to work out, but I don't feel like it. So my friend is doing another jump rope challenge for July, I'm gonna post it on the screen and I'll leave her Instagram in the description box. But I'm gonna do 100 jumps just because I haven't jumped rope in a week. So, put my watch on jump rope. I know how to work this. Three, two, one, let's go. So here's the thing, I guess part of my self care today is shopping. 
I made a Shein purchase. <laughs> that was because, uh, another mask me. And then I logged on to MFK to see what I would be getting next. And there's, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on this. So, yeah. Um, my self care today is shopping, and that's okay. After this, uh, we're gonna have dinner. I think we're having Jamaican tonight, and then I'm gonna sit outside and smoke a cigar and work out. And I'll do some uh, skincare tonight before I go to bed. It's been a nice, relaxing day. Like. I did no work at all, which means tomorrow will be a heavy work day, but that's okay. Mm, I'm just smelling the scent that I'm about to buy. <sighs> the obsession is real. I work jobs. I am a job. I cannot get that city girl song out of my head. my workout that was really hard this is why it's so important not to take long breaks from working out also don't work out in a silky caftan talk about being hot and then i remembered it's july so now i need to pick a new workout to do for this month because the workout that i just did was june's workout so i'm going to roll up my yoga mat and find a workout for July. And I will link that down below. Ooh. Well, now it's time to watch my cat then. <laughs> we'll be wearing this again tomorrow. Ooh. Hey guys, so I just figured I would end the vlog here. Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? My baby doesn't feel well? Why are you whining? Okay. Well, let me go tend to this little baby. Are you okay? No? Okay. You okay? Let me go tend to her. Thank you guys so much for watching today's, well, this week's vlog. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Love you guys. Bye. You want to say bye? No? Okay, that's Chloe saying bye.